kind of reaction after the much anticipated rate cut? James, it was a strange reaction by the market. We saw the market going down, we saw the Aussie dollar going up, retailers being sold off and the high yielding areas being sold off. In fact, exactly the type of reaction that you would expect when rates actually go up. But I think the key to today's performance is that the markets had already priced in this rate cut. Going into this decision, the market had priced in a 93% chance of a rate cut. So it was really about the RBA mm -hmm. statement and the statement was a little bit more neutral than what the market expected. So we did see a reaction looking forward and I guess the market expectation is that we won't see another rate cut as soon as February. Now if we have a look at the market reaction, this is the intraday graph of the Australian share market. You can see at 2.30 once the rate decision came off, we saw a sell-off in the Australian share market. Not only that, we did see a sell-off in those interest rate sensitive areas. Usually when we see a rate cut, it's good news for the high yielding areas like the telecom sector, like the utility sectors and like the banks. But if we have a look at the telecom sector this is what the intraday graph looks like and you can see after the rate decision went down we actually saw telecom stocks trading down to the low of the session we saw the same type of trend with the retailers Maya was a, quite a dramatic reaction if we have a look at Maya's intraday graph this is what it looks like the rates decision came out and you can see that Maya slid to the lows of the session David Jones wasn't so bad but we saw the same type of reaction in JB Hi-Fi the interest rate decision and we did see uh, the stock going to the lows of the session Having said that, it was a good day for a lot of stocks on the Australian share market. We did see a 52-week high early on in the session for some of those defensive stocks like the Commonwealth Bank, like Telstra and like Transurban. We have a look at the Commonwealth Bank. This is what the intraday graph looks like. And you can see we did see that 52-week high earlier on in the session. And then, then after that rates decision, we did see a sell-off. On the flip side, lows for some stocks. And it does look like there are still some concerns around the mining services area. We saw Fleetwood reaching a 52-week low, as did NRW Holdings. So um, altogether, a pretty interesting day on the Australian share market. Big macro news, but in terms of volumes, only $3 billion being traded today. Julia, just on the likes of some of those retailers, the share charts that you brought up and, and the telecommunications sector, why? I mean, what do you take out of that sort of a reaction? I think the interest rate decision had already been baked into these stocks and if we have a look at the retailers and some of those cyclical areas, the last month has been a good month for them. We have seen a positive performance there. So it does look at uh uh, the market does tend to be more forward looking so uh, with this rate cut already being priced in looking to other other rate decisions and of course the next rate decision is in February so it does look like that more neutral statement coming through from the RBA really hosing down expectations of near-term rate cuts and that seemed to have an impact not only on the Australian share market but also on the Aussie dollar in fact if we have a look at the Aussie dollar this is the Aussie dollar during the day usually you'd expect the Aussie dollar to fall after an interest rate decision which has seen a cut but instead you can see we've actually seen a rise so it does look like the market the currency is really hosing down uh, ex expectations around more rate cuts. Thing on that cuts to their standard variable mortgage rate in full the 25 basis point they also cut their deposit rate uh, by 25 basis points so obviously you know paying Peter to feed Paul whatever that's exactly. saying is you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Julia I wanted to move on uh, a little bit one of the good performers today Grain Corp up three percent back in play. We have seen another offer come through for, for Grain Corp, or the offer being increased by 3.8%. So Grain Stocks. Uh, stock price is up by 3.2 percent and it's interesting to see that its stock price is already above that offer price and I guess the thing with Grain Corp is that most investment houses and brokers do expect uh, an offer to only be successful more around the $13 mark rather than the $12.20 mark that is coming today. It's good to see uh, Archer Daniel Midlands increasing their stake by 5 percent to 19 and a half percent but obviously the market signaling that they do expect a higher price so $12.20 is the upped offer but the market closing above that and most investment houses expecting an offer more around the $13 mark. Is that your expectation this has got a bit further to play out? I think it does have further to uh, play out. The board has indicated in the past and pointed to our brokers 12-month targets around the $13 mark and indeed there, there are 12-month targets above that $13 mark around the $13.65 mark. So the fact that the board has pointed that out in the past and they have been reluctant uh, to, uh, to I guess uh, play ball around these lower offers means that the market's expecting this to play out further. I'm expecting it to play out further and it doesn't look like a $12.20 offer would be successful. Having said 
said that if we have a look at Grain Corp as a business, it does tend to be a cyclical business. It is tied to the weather. And of course, the last few years we've seen record crops. That's not expected to continue according to our forecast. So we are expecting to see a bit of a pullback in terms of the underlying business. However, it do, this offer does come at a time when perhaps Grain Corp is at the top of its cycle. So it is an attractive time for Grain Corp. However, the board has indicated in the past that they're not really interested around these levels. Michael.